gun. See my son, the sandwiches. Look, girl, just done. Any sandwich, look out, juice, pastries, on it, on it. Before there was an explosion of people hustling on the streets of St. George's, one could always be greeted by this gentleman early in the morning, just outside the bus terminus on Melville Street. Chicken, cheese sandwich, meat pie, meatloaf, coconut tart, pineapple tart, cheese pie, dal, saltfish. I see saltfish right Sea moss, look I wonder why. So tell me now, state your name for me. Well, my name is Kevin Francis, but everybody all knows me as Blaze, mm -hmm. soca artist. Way the line there. <laughs> so, you know, where are you from? I'm from St. David's, Rukin, place called Sugar Hole. Best right. place in St. David's. So tell me, how long have you been doing what you're doing on the street here? I've been selling sandwich, local juice for about 11, 11 years now. Did you always have a hand in the food industry? Well, not when I was young. Mm -hmm. I remember my, when my mom had five of us, and I was like the only one out of my brothers and sisters, so I always be back in the kitchen, back and forth with her. And to this day, I get to understand why it was a good you know, reason to be in the kitchen with her. Because I could be able to make this stuff today. <laughs> so do you make everything from scratch? Everything from scratch. Blue. Every you make your bread thing. as well? All the bread, baking, frying, everything. <laughs> what time do you get up in the morning to do this? 3 o'clock every morning. Well, I just make, sometimes I just make so much of an abundance that I can't even count. All I could tell you is, I make how much my hand could tell me, yes, make and then stop. <laughs> So how I often can't give you an actual call. How many days? How many days are you here? Well, I try my best to come out from Monday to Friday. Saturdays is the day I was actually morning, my bro. Yeah, brother. Hold on, eh? What? What are we eating today? Saltfish, chicken, cheese, yeah, meatloaf, cheese, by meat. Chicken. Anything good with you? Yeah, brother. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Really? <laughs> wow. Oh, you have juice on there? Yeah, I look juice. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So something out of work still. Yeah. Don't know my yeah. Right. Yeah, so um, I normally comes out from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. I try to take Saturdays as the day that I rest mm -hmm. and then back to work again for Sunday because I have to prepare for Monday. <laughs> How much do you spend in getting um, products, like you know your ingredients ready? To for? get how much I spend? Yeah. Well, sometimes, well, as you know, how the groceries actually went up right now. So right now, I could say the spending day in the two hundreds. When a week, a when week? before the prices went up, the spending used to be like seventy something, eighty something. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. So okay, so you're telling me that since. The prices of things went up over the period. Yeah, it's the been about period. almost two something now. Almost two or five, two ten, two fifteen sometimes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's a, that's a drastic increase. It's a very drastic increase. And then knowing that the COVID nineteen thing happened, mm -hmm. is like you're know, matter eleven years a minute. Mm -hmm. So it's like before, I used to have like let's say hundred and fifty customers checking me every day. Right now, that hundred and fifty balls on to about thirty. And then really? I have to look. I have to look for the rest. So yeah. you have a, um, a drop in customers. There, a big, big, big drop. Increase in because spending. as you can see, I mean, everybody wants the COVID nineteen make everybody want to hustle now. Everybody yes. people who used to cut style on it before wants to do it now. And Guinea there's not a place you can really tell people where to go and sell and where not to sell. Is the principal in it? You know, I don't. That, I, that is the best thing I could say on that. <laughs> Do you have any children? Yes, I have two boys. Two boys. How old are they? One is 10, the next one is 6. And carnival? Well, we most likely won't have any carnival. We won't have no carnival. Well, that is because, you know, I'm an artist, so mm -hmm. all of that was a part of the, you know, getting a nice income for, uh, you know, the year and everything. But since carnival, the whole COVID-19 just shut down almost everything. Mm -hmm. So it's like right now you have to hustle even 10 times harder than we used to hustle before. Besides selling food, what else do you hustle? Well, besides food, I actually have my garden. And um, I do seasoning pepper, bell pepper, 
watermelon, cantaloupe. I even do um, coconuts if you want coconut jelly. I know numerous of stuff, and when I'm not doing that, I'm in my studio because I also do my own stuff. So, who do you sell your produce for? Well, um, I really obtain the farmer's ideas yet because okay, okay, okay. Fulan and them telling me that in order for them to obtain fruits and things, they have to, they must have to have the farmer's idea. So, I ain't really reached in that yet because you know I'm doing this, then I'm doing the studio, then <laughs> morning, morning, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 yummy. And Blair seems to have a special touch when it comes morning, to morning. dealing with his customers. If you only want to have one this morning, I was making it and the, the guests allowed me to make all of this. One of Blaze's regular customers explains why so she supports him every time she passes by the bus terminals. Because it tastes good. He is personable. So you always want to come back. So yeah. Dal, dal on the sandwich. Thank you for viewing Serrano Mitchell Worlds. Please like, comment, and share. I am Serrano Mitchell. Have a great one.